Alright y'all, welcome back to another episode of Stock Lock Sunday. Uh, this time around we got a really cool uh, American lock. It's the Series 1305. Now I just picked up two of these recently off of uh, eBay. I thought it was a good deal. It was two of them for, uh, it was right around 20 bucks delivered to my door. So I picked them up. Uh, now this one we're going to go ahead and try and pick on camera. Uh, again, Series 1305. It's got a TFI stamped on it. Um, I'm not familiar with all that stuff, so if somebody knows, please comment and let us know what it means. Uh, TFI, uh, if it means anything at all, I believe it does. I think it has something to do with the dating of the lock. Uh, so there's the key to it right here. There's a bidding on it. The lock does work like a charm. They both do. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can pick it on camera. We all know how that goes. I have picked it but not on camera. We go with top of the keyway up there with a bent tension wrench. I think that's 50 thousandths, the thick one. And uh, Peterson Gem. So make sure the camera's all right here. Let's see. Might be able to come in a little bit. Let's try that. Good enough. All right, so bada boom, bada bang. See if we can get it started here. Going into the back. A little baby click. Another little baby click. I think that was four. Felt like three, but I'm going to let that go. Feel like I overset it. Okay, that was nice. Coming out slowly. Felt like two. Pin one, I think. Let's see. All the way back in. Felt good. Seeing what we missed here. Hmm. Let me feel around. Okay, that felt good. Nice and easy. Felt good. I think I overset one. Yep, that was an overset. It's actually pretty to, pretty easy to do. Overset these locks for me it is, because it's so the pins are so small compared to most of the locks I I guess I normally pick. I feel like we're like one pin away from popping this thing. And I don't know where it is. <laughs> Let's find it. I felt good. Ah. Overset that.
There we go. Beautiful. We got her. Beautiful. All right. Let's see if uh, we get back down a little bit. Like I said, it is really... Uh, I'm used to picking, you know, more of the uh, schlegs and sergeants and, you know, basically the locks with the, the larger pins. So whenever I'm picking on these uh, American locks and master locks, the pins are so small, they really have a different feel to them. Uh, since we have a key, I'm going to go ahead and lock this back up so I don't jack anything up. Uh, let's see, we can, we can lock it like that. All right. Phillips screwdriver down the hole I have not uh, disassembled either one of these like I said I just got them off eBay uh, I think it was last week they got delivered so I don't know what's in them yet but I I can definitely tell there's some kind of security pins in them all right that stuff out of the way the core out of there ooh oh nice hey the uh, so it's got the uh, anti-bypass shim in it, or anti-bypass plate, whatever you call it. Yep. Because otherwise, whenever you got the uh, slot going the same direction as the key, uh, I don't have the tool, but you can put the tool in there and rotate it and open the lock up. So with these plates in there, you can't do that. Of course, they made a tool that punches through them, but if you have put two or three of these in there I don't think you can use the punch tool all right uh, pop this clip off somehow here uh. Oof. there we go nice that stuff out of the way a key in there uh, it's got that slot on the back for that clip so I'm gonna try and shove a shim in there and let's see what we got here I think this is for these yep all right so it was only pinned to five it looks like I'll go ahead and add the sixth one before I reassemble it. Like I said, this is how I got them. They're stock. Got some serrations on top of key pin one. Same thing in two. Three looks like it's serrated also. Same with four. And five. So these key pins are all serrated, it looks like. And I'm sure the core is all standard because it's brand new. All right. Shim. Bada boom. Bada bang. Let's get these laid out here. One's a serrated. Who's a serrated spool? I think we'll find out in a minute. Spool in three. Spool in four. And same in five. All right, cool, fun little lock. Like I said, I'll put the uh, the uh, another pin stack in it to make it a six pin before I reassemble it. So let's get a close up on them for the heck of it. Let me get some specs on so I can see. Uh, what do we have here? Yep, all the key pins have serrations on the top. Very nice. And then we got a uh, serrated in one for drivers. This one here is a serrated spool, which means it's a spool pin with serrations on the end. 
Same thing in number three, four, and five. These are all serrated spools. Very nice. And then standard springs. So again, very nice uh, eBay find on two of those uh, American Lock Series 1305s. I think it was a pretty good score. 20 bucks delivered to my door. So bada boom, bada bing. All right, that'll wrap up this episode of Stock Clock Sunday. I hope you all have a wonderful work week. Um, and uh, that'll do her. Big Al signing out.